we decided we'd like to disrupt the food system. That maybe food banks aren't the only answer. How could we create something that would be farther reaching and more than a food bank? And that's what really got us going. When people think of donating to food banks or feeding the hungry, they think about dry goods, they think about a can of beans. We're talking about perishables here, we're talking about nutrient-dense fresh food and that's what's lacking from these existing programs. People need the nutrients that we are throwing in the garbage at the grocery level, at the farm level and at home. And if we can just change our habits and change our training, change our operating systems, um, this food can be going into hungry bellies. It can be brightening someone's day and creating massive impact by changing the smallest of habits. So the Food Share Network is really about trying to empower and create food security across the region and Life Cycles wanted to be a part of bringing local food to the table in that conversation and really making sure that there was a real big abundance of local food that was being produced and shared to, to feed everybody in the region. And we wanted to make sure that everybody had access to really high quality, good, locally grown food. The vision of the One Up Single Parent Resource Center is to provide a variety of free supports to single parents and their families. And uh, how we hope to end hunger in the community is with partnerships such as the Food Share Network, which allows us to greatly increase the support we're able to provide um, for free to single parents and their children, um, allowing them to save their money and use it towards other important aspects of their family, like rent and gas and maybe transit and school expenses. It, it really adds up. So allowing us to be able to provide these supports for single parents um, and their children is a huge uh, benefit to them. The food project has impacted my life um, by providing me with snacks, healthy snacks to feed my children every week, whereas I otherwise might not have been able to feed them. We started a program called Wellness Wednesday where we provide uh, fresh fruits and veggies for community members um, through the Food Share Network and then also through um, our rooftop garden and uh, it's been a really successful program and one that we've had positive feedback from community. Um, the impact on our family is quite big. Um, it, uh, it gives us a chance to get a few free meals a week and I uh, really look forward to being able to take some groceries home for my family. <laughs> um, there's a lot of mouths. <laughs> so uh, it's, uh, it's really great for us and um, I'm, really, I'm really grateful that there's this program because I'm not sure what I would do without it. Yeah, so we as the UVSS Food Bank and Free Store became involved with the Food Rescue Project because at that point in time, we were running really critically low on food. We had about 200 to 300 people coming in each and every week, and we had absolutely no means of feeding them all. The Food Rescue Project basically served as our saving grace at that point in time. And for the first time ever, we were able to provide our clients, especially the families that come and use our service with fresh produce, with milk, with eggs, with dairy products in general. And it was finally like the ability to actually feed our community was given to us. And it's been working out really, really well ever since. Without the Victoria Food Rescue um, and the nutritional food that it provides, um, there definitely would have been times where I would have gone with maybe just one meal a day, maybe no meals a day at all. And definitely without nutritional food, it's, it's very hard to function. Um, as a student, long days, um, not many breaks, a lot of things on your plate to do all the time and without um, nutritional food, without food in general, it's very hard to, to function and to think and to get things done. Giving people the ability to access food, access healthy, high quality food with dignity is crucial as well because it really helps to reduce the stigma affiliated with accessing food banks and other resources like that. And I think that is a critical part towards ending hunger throughout the region and that you're ensuring people don't feel ashamed to be accessing these resources and you're ensuring that when they are at a place in their lives where they do need to access a food bank, that there are actually the resources in place for them to go to. The best thing about this project I think is showing all of us what happens when people get together as a community to work together. I think it takes a community to feed a community. 
And when you go to the food center and see what's happening there, you realize that this is possible, but it's just engaging more people. And I think that's going to happen. The tricky part is funding for the nuts and bolts of the program. We know we can, by mitigating food waste in grocery stores in the region, hopefully restaurants, hopefully at farm level, we know we have enough resources to spread around. It's, we need to pay the truck driver, we need to pay the rent. These are the things that, that we need the community to get behind. This is why we're looking for contributions because this is a good idea. It's got brains behind it, it's got steam behind it, it's got passion, it's got all of the things. We just need contributions to make it happen.